Lounge, your home of entertainment. It's good to have you right here in the lounge, your home of entertainment, a place that will take you across um, the 360 degree of entertainment. We'll talk fashion, music, movies, lifestyle, arts, and every single thing within the entertainment sector. Well, tonight, Uchi Onyekoloje is joined by the girl with the magical piece. That's what some people are done. Onyekara is in the building. Yes, welcome, guys. It is, of course, another amazing episode. And yes, we're back in the building. It's not an easy something, people. Okay, I'm going to say what I something. have in mind mm -hmm. so that I can put a down on the spot. But yeah. I just know that from the tale of 2017 mm -hmm. into 2018, Adana has just been trained some kind of... No? Wait, Uche, does it... Uh, does that, that, wait, 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 wait. Does I that mean that before I didn't used to give out vibes? I didn't used to give out good vibes. Like, no, before no, I didn't no, used to try no, out. No, no, no. Really? Of course. Hey, we're living a life where you become better. Okay. And I must say, your better is becoming oh. so, you know. Right now, Thank sometimes I'm trying to true. keep up the pace, you know. But it's all good. Whatever it is, I hope it happens soon enough. Amen. Whatever positive thing it is, please. <laughs> okay, this is a segment where I love to say who is wearing what and what is wearing who. Yes. Where we see Nigerians doing it well on red carpet. Mm -hmm. And of course, I like to see that the Shekolo by Coniston Richard Nice shortly <laughs> after the event moment. So stay tuned. Hi guys, what a wonderful day it is to bring to you again event moment. I'm working today at Eco Hotel and Suite. Okay guys, we are here for Pastor Claire Jairo. It's 30 years in music industry, okay, is it industry, okay, music ministry anyway. Okay, he's been coming and going and of course he's still going further and further and further. So today we are here to enjoy God and enjoy with Pastor Claire Jairo in his presence. I can't wait guys. My name is Fuka Thank you so very much for joining me today. Let's go. All right, and it is the one and only big baller. There's hope for me. There's hope How for me. Is, sir? I'm good, thank you. It's very good to have you here. You so great, much. great to meet great people. You know, nice dress. Oh, thank you so much. So we are here for Pastor Kunle Ajayi. What can you say about him? He's a good man, an outstanding man, a good father to many of us, um, a tough father to many of us, very tough. But he's going older now, so he's softer now. You know. That's... What do you mean by by tough? Ah, Pastor Kulaja is very strict, so body now, very strict, you know, no no drama, no nonsense, you know, so if you don't understand it early, you might get upset, like we used to get upset, but now, you know, things are better now. Guys, here is the reason why we're here today, the man of God, the anointed, Pastor Kule Ajayi, how are you doing, sir? Very well, thank you. Okay, so tell me, how has been the journey so far, 30 years, how has it been so far? I want to thank God for what God has done for these 30 years, and uh, I'm grateful to God. I've been wonderful. It's, it's, it's been wonderful. It's a God that I need to praise and adore. All right, right now, say a little word to those who are young in the ministry. Well, everyone that is in coming up artists, I all want to be in this God's ministry. I wish you all the best in the name of Jesus. Also, remain in God's presence and wait for God's time.
Okay, guys, I'm so excited right now to see Shola Alison Obani. How are you doing, Ma? I'm fine, thank you. Very good to see you. Thank you very much. You are here for Pastor Claire Jai. What can you say about him? Pastor Claire is somebody we respect so much that carries the presence. <laughs> and he uh, has put together a program titled in his presence. So, me, I'm expecting so much to be filled tonight. So, that's it. Okay, everyone has been asking this question, and I don't know if you've answered it yet, but concerning um, Ali Jan Jan, oh, okay. the thing you did with Adekule Gold, when, are we ever going to see the video? When money comes, the video will come. <laughs> <laughs> <That's an answer. laughs> when the money comes, the video will come. But it's something we I'm trying to put together. But like I said, I'm not ashamed about it. When money comes, the video will come. Oh, 2018 is still fresh. What are you? Are we gonna be seeing from you in 2018? We'll be seeing a lot. I'm releasing an album this year. I'm due for an album this year. So by God's grace, I am releasing an album. And it's, it's, it's actually sooner than that. Yes, yes. So it's coming. And many other things, many good things, performances, appearances everywhere. You know, doing what God has called me to do in my very simple way. <laughs> so that's it. <laughs> And it is the elegant and the beautiful Ayo Myrese. You know, the last time I mentioned your name, I didn't put Myrese. So it feels so good for you. To, you know, the status has changed. How are you doing? The has changed. We thank God. I'm doing very well. Thank you. You look very lovely. Oh, thank, thank you so you very much. So how does it feel like... You look lovely yourself, thank by you. the way. Thank okay, you. so how does it feel like to, you know, be co-hosting in his presence today? Pastor Kule Ajay is 38. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. I remember when I was asked, that you know I should come and do this I was like oh my goodness oh my goodness and you know, it's such an honor because uh, Pastor Kule Ajayi is a man that I listened to growing up and you know it's a dream come true when you the people that you honored and respected from a young age you get to be able to almost you know play this role when they're celebrating 30 years all glory to God I am very excited and I look forward to what tonight holds yes 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 here on the land your home of entertainment we enjoy giving you nothing shut up the best it's always 100% so tonight we have an amazing actor in the building he is a film television theater voice actor he's a wonderful talent Yes, yes, okay, yes. Okay, I think yes, I'm yes. going to help Adana here because mm -hmm. Adana actually grew up in Lagos, but mm -hmm. she cannot speak mm -hmm. a word in Yoruba to save herself. But I, I know how to pronounce his real name. It's just a sonny. Adana, you can be so. I, I don't like. To Adana, if he sees Daniels. you, I'm not going to help you if you mispronounce the name. Okay, give it a try. Okay. Who do we have, guys? Tonight we have Jamie Okanlaun. Okay, that was your whole <laughs> <laughs> That was actually not bad. Yeah, it wasn't was bad. Actually not bad <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. And I could see you sitting like waiting <laughs> patiently. <laughs> Let me see you, miss. <laughs> it's good to have you. Thank it's good you to so lounge much. here. I mean, the last time I saw you, I didn't see this gold thing. Yes. Yeah. Now I'm saying you now. You're looking like an artist, it is not amazing. like a musician. You, you, you've had <laughs> dreads before. Yes, I mm -hmm. have. You've had, you know, the normal black and stuff I've like that. I've been keeping time. I've skinned my head. Like seriously, I've done that. Like, you know, it's taken like totally tight. Yes, like by with amazing children as well. Yes. Oh, you know. Of course not. There are some people have been monitoring you. You know. <laughs> it's not just me. I'm sure a lot of people because, of course, you're always in the public eye. Don't yourself. Don't speak for others. Yourself. You've been. I mean, you've just been. I, I didn't. Okay, I, I didn't know he went. Oh, no, no. So, so you, depending you. on the role that I'm playing mm -hmm. at uh, whatever point in time. If it requires that I do a little bit of extra, mm. that's when I start playing with how I look and oh. sometimes even how I speak. Okay. Um, oh. Yes, yeah, so this character that I'm playing right now, now so he did talk. Oh, so he did. <laughs> okay, it's a garbage thing. It's a, it's a ghetto thing. I don't think he's fine, but I don't be fine, but I don't look You know, so I. So those are the things we have to play with as as um, actors. 
Yeah. Wow, I like that. That's what you said I would stage, right? Yes, I do. You did theater art in school? No, I didn't do theater art. I studied chemical engineering. Wow. So you had the guys kicking out kicking us out of our jobs. Like seriously, you did. <laughs> oh me, I didn't right? study anything. She started that nursing, and, and I'm like, what are you guys doing here? <laughs> What's happening to your field? Who are those occupying that field? I guess, I guess, you see, the thing about uh, what I've discovered in life is you just need to find what you're passionate about. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with what you went to school for. Mm -hmm. I mean, I studied chemical engineering, I graduated, and I got a job in sales and marketing, not even in chemical engineering. Ooh. I only, I think I worked in a refinery for about six months to a mm -hmm. year. Um, and then I, when I finished school, I went to work in a company uh, called Baker's World. They made me sales manager because I was selling their bread and cake while I was on campus. Mm. Baker's World? Is it the one here? On Allen Avenue, yes. Oh, oh, wow. So I was their sales manager and then that's how my career in sales and marketing started. Uh, as of 2013, uh, before I quit my job to act full-time, I was the head of marketing for OLX. Hmm. Why did I you see. decide to actually quit your job to go into acting full-time? Wait a minute. Before then, I think you were doing a bit of acting. Yes. Yeah, so, so, yes, I was heavily involved in... Um, drama ministry at church, uh, Covenant Good. Christian Center, and I, and I used to do that for years. Yeah. Um, I guess that was a training ground for me. Uh, then one day, by chance, somebody told me about a project that they were auditioning for. I went to the audition, got a role. Some people who were even trying to cast for their own film but didn't have money to put up an audition, sat down in the audience. They saw me do my audition and they called wow. me to be in their own short mm. film. So I did, I had two projects that year. The next year I did another two projects. Mm. Um, I think the next year I did maybe another two projects. And then they, all of a sudden people were asking me to come and act and pay me money to do it. <laughs> oh. And I figured, you know, if this is what I totally enjoy and love doing, mm. then the money wasn't for me the main factor. Because I was earning a lot of money, you mm. know, work, working um, a nine to five. Um, but I, I, I think I figured that life is more than just money. Money, yeah. You know. Again, to be honest, I was only going to do it for a year and then run back and go and make money. Okay. <laughs> but then I realized, wait a minute. It could be a this, 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 apart from a calling, you know, there's some, that you can't survive. And then? You can't survive, yes. The money is much it's, more than, you, you know. Survive. I understand. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Some of you don't want to be Amazing. <laughs> but then there was a short um, film that I saw. Mm -hmm. It's, um, I think an advice from an actor to his son. Was that your personal? That was my because personal. Because it, it was it just it was amazing. That it was, was wonderful. I mm. love us to see that it was amazing. Yeah. Okay. What what made you do that? I believe that the legacy that we can leave behind for generations to come does not consist only of real estate properties or, mm. or money. You know, this is why people tend to steal a lot and there's a lot of corruption because that's what we're focused mm -hmm. on. I think that whatever we learn in our lives, the wisdom that God gives us mm -hmm. is meant to be passed from generation to generation. That's the real legacy mm -hmm. because you can, you can give a man fish, but if you teach him how to fish, you know, then his generations after would always know mm -hmm. how to fish. And so for me, when I looked at my life and I looked at lessons that I learned, I decided to pass it on using the medium that I'm most familiar with film mm -hmm. to my kids. And so I did the short film for you, my son, mm. uh, and uh, a lot of people seem to like it. Yeah, yeah it's a lot good. of people it's seem to good. learn from it's it. Very touching. Yeah, it's good as long as it has a message. Okay, for you, how do you balance life and work? They're two very distinct things. Mm. I separate them as much as possible. Um, DME, the actor, is the outgoing, you know, mm. red carpet type of person, mm -hmm. um, and he's in the public eye. So it's okay to be in the public eye, mm -hmm. you know. But the Amy O'Connell is a family man. Mm -hmm. I would rather sit down in my house mm -hmm. and eat good food and watch TV mm -hmm. or read a good book. You know, so when people like um, Adana are calling me to say, come and do an interview, I promise <laughs> you, I would rather just be in my house sleeping, <laughs> you know. But, you know, because she's such a, she's such a sport about it, you know, mm -hmm. and she just kept we want you, we really want to <laughs> yes. you. I say, you know what, I'm going to come. Don't worry, I'll come. So I, I came out. But that's how I, I try to Balance. You know, segment my life like that. Yes. Okay, how about relaxation? I mean, you guys do movies to make us relax. Yes. So how do you relax? Through movies. You watch movies also? as well? No. By acting in movies. That's I'm how you do Okay. Oh, so really? So while you're working, you're also having fun. I'm having fun. Mm, but, but then, yeah. what was that movie or series that actually brought you to the limelight? Was it Giddy? Because a lot of people know you from the days of Giddy, giddy up. up. yes. So was it like really Giddy Up or? So, so two things happened at the same time. Uh, 
There was a short film. There was, do you want us to take a break? No, go ahead. Okay. okay. So, um, two things happened about the same time. There was a short film that I did called Blink. Okay. Um, and as well, there was, there was Giddy Up. Now, what Blink did was, Blink was such a good short film. We put up on, on YouTube then, mm. uh, shot by Tulu Ajayi, mm. who, whose career also sort of kicked off from there as a filmmaker mm. um, and mine as an actor. Uh, we did Blink and everybody in the industry got to see it, you know, because there's some projects that the audience may not see, but the industry people will see. Mm -hmm. So they pass it around to each other. And I remember I was at one of the malls the other day when a, a man, young man walks up to me, says, you, are you there, me? I say, yes. I say, I saw you in this short film called Blink. I would love to work with you one mm -hmm. of these days. Wow. You know, he was a director, you know, and then several things. Like, so from there, directors and producers got to know me. Um, and then Giddy Up came out and then the audience, the mm. people who watch the movies, you know, outside of the industry, um, got to know me as well. So between those two things, I guess, um, I guess that's how my career started. I looked at it and I said, you know what, maybe there's space for me in this industry. Mm -hmm. Let me go and see what it's like. Worst case scenario, when I'm old and I'm grey, I can tell mm -hmm. my children, hey, I, tried it you know, I did this, uh, I was cool, oh, remember, I was like, <laughs> go and see that film, oh, it was nice. You know? That was, that was my thing. Okay, so I like the fact that um, you're doing what you love to do. I also want us to look at it from this angle. I mean, yes, if you weren't acting, what would you have been doing? I, I know you're a sales manager, yeah. I wonder, but what would you have been doing if you weren't acting? I, I would still be in sales and marketing. I, I still I still find myself, because even, even as an actor, mm. um, I find that I'm not using 100% of my my capabilities you know mm. um, so every all the training that I've had over the years um, in sales and marketing I actually sit down with filmmakers and try mm. to help them when it comes to promoting their movies, movies and yeah. the likes um, and some other companies as well so I do a little bit of consulting okay you strike me like a daring actor I mean you can't be placed in a box I mean looking at you you, you have features of someone who can play any role you look like someone who is flexible enough to fit in into roles. That's what I mean. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but for you, which which of the roles have you ever had that is so challenging, or what role are you still looking up to to, to do that you're yet to get? So, I, I I don't I don't. It's really difficult to answer that question. I get asked that question a lot. Um, it's like telling me which food is my favorite food. I like amala. I like pounded yam. Yeah. I like they're, they're all food. They taste different. They mm. feel different. You know, so you there's one that you use for canine. There's one you use your hand. There's one that you can almost dive inside the food. <laughs> you know, there's different. Things. Um, it's the same thing for the roles that I get. Okay. Um, you I love like, varieties. I love variety, but I also like the fact that I'm challenged with different things. So there's some roles that are very emotionally challenging. Mm. That it takes me. <sighs> weeks to get over. I mean, there was a mm. film that I did with Yvonne Nelson, one of my first few films. Um, it was called If Tomorrow Never Comes. Mm. And If Tomorrow Never Comes is a very, 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 very heart-wrenching story about a young lady who had a, who had a son, was literally a single mom, but she was really poor um, and she couldn't take care of the child. The child eventually died. Now, what's even more interesting was that that child actually had the ailment in real life. Okay, I remember that film. The child actually had the ailment in real life, it was cerebral palsy, I, I think. Yeah. And wow. then two weeks after we finished filming, the boy died. In real life? In real life. Mm. So it was, it, it's one of the movies that if ever, every time I think about, I just start having goosebumps. Yeah. Um, it was also very physically challenging because there was a scene where I had to fight with one of the top two boxers in Ghana, Haiti Paz. So I had to go to the gym and work out mm. a lot. And then we had a fight scene, and um, he forgot that we were doing a film. <laughs> so everything that we practiced, my guy, they said action. He heard the bell, and he came for me. And I tried, you know, I, I, I got some moves, you know. But when he gave me one or two punches, and I wasn't too sure, when I returned one punch, it was now real. So he punched me. <laughs> and I can't remember what happened after that. <laughs> When I woke up, I was looking at the sky, <laughs> and I didn't see the punch coming. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, never fight with a professional boxer. <laughs> you know, 
Um, so physically challenging. We did Blink, the one I told you about. Mm. The opening scene of Blink, we shot underwater. Mm. It took us four weeks of breath training and breath exercises mm. to be able to hold our breath for about four minutes. Mm. So there was a time in my life where I could sit down and hold my breath for four minutes. Mm. Yes, because you need enough footage. Mm. So we'll go into the water, the director and myself, and we'll shoot to large eye. We'll shoot for a period of time, we'll come out, catch our breath. And I was tied on a chair underwater in a swimming pool. Mm. You know, so it was re that was also very, very it challenging was, yeah. physically. Um, again, there's some roles that, you know, you just have to embody so many different, really dark things, mm. Mm -hmm. you know, and it takes you to a very, very dark place. Mm. Um, and those kind of films, I, I usually have to take time after the film to reset mm -hmm. and reprogram and take mm -hmm. myself out of that character. Mm -hmm. And I try to stay away from home when when I'm when I'm doing that that process mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. I carry one madman home with no. me. <laughs> like the movie, I think was it dinner or something where where you said um, we all women are liars and they're this, they're that and stuff like that. Like your your wife didn't find that funny, did she? I didn't let her watch it. Wait, uh, if I know the movie you're talking about, is it the movie you had with Ivio Kujai? No, that's another film. That's another that's film. Another, that's This Is Secret. Yes. Aww. This Is Secret. Um, yeah. Dinner was with RMD, Richie Doyle. Um, we had Kenny Bankole, um, Okio Zorishi, and Aina in a way. Um, <laughs> that, that, that film, imagine taking all the bad guys that I knew in my life, that I've known since I was a child, all the really nasty boys from university to date and now creating a character out of them. Mm. That was that character. He was a very, very, he was just, he just had a bad philosophy about life and about women, about, you know, and, and about what was right and what was wrong. Um, so when I did that film, I didn't let my wife watch it. Mm. She now snuck off to the cinema to go and watch it by herself. Whoa. She now came back home and said, young man, Sit down, let's talk. <laughs> so we had a conversation. I will not tell you what the conversation was. <laughs> but wow. yeah, so you see when we do these things, we become these characters for that period of time. Mm -hmm. um, and it's always safe to just get out of being that character. Okay, mm -hmm. so as an actor now, of course I know you're looking at some other international prospect. Mm -hmm. um, is there any actor or an actress you have in mind you really want to be on set with? Oh wow, sure. Denzel Washington. Oh, okay. <laughs> Denzel Washington. Really? And? Definitely. Oh, there's so many. Um, but I'll start with Denzel because I like him not just as an actor but as a person. Okay. Um, I've spent hours watching interviews by him and seeing him speak um, mm. and how he deals with his life on set and off set. Mm. Um, but then I also, there's so many talented actors out there. Daniel Day-Lewis, mm. um, Tom Hardy, you know. Kate Winslet, there's so many, they're, they're, they're uncountable. Um, but even here in Nigeria, we have so many talents. And I'm, I've been lucky to have worked with Wait, some of them, like quite a few of them actually. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, if you ask me here, is anybody I'm waiting to work with again? I've, I've worked with most of the people that, I, that I've wanted to work with. I've been mm -hmm. so lucky to do that. Um, so internationally, we're looking at working with, uh, with really great actors outside. Don't How you? about for actress? Actress, same thing. Uh, I would love to work with Lupita, you know, yeah, yeah exactly. that would be nice. Have you seen mm -hmm. Black Panther? Not yet. I was supposed to, but the queue was just on. Yes, like, yes, the queue was on. I, you know, because of my work, I can't I can, <laughs> I can, I can go and designate them. But yeah, so But I, I'm still going to see that. I, I still, I, I still want to see that. Yes. Okay, so you strike me like someone who can use from action movie. You know, you want to do um, a sci-fi, you could fit into it. Want to do something that has to do with robots and uh, DNA can fit, you know? It, it's just how I see you. Transformers, Nigerian version. Mm -hmm. But seriously, is, is that maybe because. Have I, you seen I, Batman, I, Nigerian version? <laughs> <laughs> Spider Man. <laughs> let, let me just keep And playing. I mean it in a very positive way that uh, you, you strike like someone who's flexible to fit into any role. And for me, a good actor should be able to. I mean, yeah, that person one cannot really, they can't really place. You except if you have the sun in spirit anyway, you know, it's okay, this is the kind of guy he is, you know. But it's a good thing, it's a very good thing. Okay, so seeing we've seen the struggles and all those, let's just share moments. Those moments where you feel like I shouldn't be here, let me just go. It's so frustrated. Oh. And that moment where you feel like, yes, this is it. I'm staying here, I'm going nowhere. 
Let's start with the ugly moment. So, I think I think life you'd always be throwing some mm. curveballs, uh, some challenges will come your way, and you just learn to deal with those challenges. So there have been challenges being uh, a part of uh, the movie industry, especially because I, I came from a corporate background. Okay. Yes, and things are done quite differently Different. in yeah. the corporate world. Um, so it took a while to to understand how things worked mm. and then to adapt to it. So it's one thing to know how it works mm -hmm. and I one thing to make sure it works for you. Mm. Mm -hmm. So for example, they will call you on set, um, you have 7 a.m. call time, sometimes you don't shoot till like 12, you know. So we had to find a way that, I didn't want to get the habit of going late to stuff, mm. but I also didn't want my time to be wasted. Mm. So I found a way, you know, and now that's, that's what I do, you know, for my processes daily for every movie. Um, uh, other challenges, you know, sometimes people, because we have to save costs, mm. uh, unfortunately people feel the need to cut corners. Mm. Uh, and it can even be, apart from the fact that it doesn't help us do our jobs well. best, you know, uh, to the best of our abilities, um, it also can be dangerous for us. Because mm. if you go to an American movie, for example, or, you know, movies out there, um, they would get a stunt driver mm. to drive the car. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They would get a person to jump from one place to the other. Yes. And in that film, now we... Now you go do <laughs> Now we be stunt driver. Now we be everything, you know, and no insurance, <laughs> you know. Exactly. But it, but we learn through those things, and you just take it, you know, in stride and hope for the best. And mm -hmm. so far, things have been very good. But talking about high points, um, I think I think the reason why I'm still here, um, five going to five years now, mm -hmm. is because there'll be more high points than there have been low downsides, points, yeah. low points. Um, I've worked with some amazing people. Mm. The level of creativity in this country is amazing. I'm talking mm. directors, writers, actors, producers who know their onions. Mm -hmm. I've been the lucky person who back, back to back, I'm, I'm working with great people. Mm. So it's um, that for me, just that being in that creative environment and being allowed to do my job the best way I know how to be, that's, that's, that's life. Wow, which is good. Oh my God, I wish we could just talk on and on with the day and meet for a great long. It's been so awesome. But before you go, let's have your social media handle and a word of advice to people out there. Okay, so first of all, uh, the best place to follow me is on Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, you can find me on Facebook. I even have a YouTube channel. You can check out a lot of my work on YouTube. Um, so just uh, check Instagram for DME the actor. Um, Twitter is at underscore DME. Uh, that's where I go to learn Twitter. I learn mm. a lot from Twitter. Okay. Um, <laughs> Facebook, I've got a fan page, DME the actor. Just search for me. Um, I think I think one of my primary purposes in life is to be an example to people about how you should follow your passion with a plan. Mm. So it's not enough to be passionate about something. You actually have to have a plan to achieve those goals that you set for yourself. Um, so if you really are passionate about something, figure out how to make it work. You don't have to quit your job to do what you love to do. Mm -hmm. You don't have to you know, do anything. You just figure out what works for you. But it is possible. You're a human being. And human beings can achieve anything that they put their minds to achieving. So whatever it is that you have dreamed about doing, just go out there. Make it work. Okay? Just come up with a plan that works. Thank wow. you so much. Uh, we've been lectured, <laughs> right? Adana? Yes, we have been lectured, but thank you very much for coming through the year. Thank you. Wonderful episode. As always, here on The Lounge. Guys, let's do this same time, same station. Let's do this always. My name is Adana Onyekara. Okay, do not forget you can follow at Adana Onyekara. Please, it's very important on Instagram. I need it. <laughs> and remember to go to bed with what he just said. We have the power to procreate. It's been given to us from the days of Adam. Even when it felt like we abused that we got it back. And I would always say, the life you have is a debt you all got. Live right. Tomorrow isn't promised. Except God knows it. I'm Uche Uye Do have a splendid night rest. Good night, guys. <laughs>